Hello brothers and sisters, uh, my name is Leonard Clark. I'm doing this video uh, from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, it's November 20th of the year 2017. I hope you're having a good day. This is just some of my rantings of what I see going on today, locally, nationally, and worldwide, news-wise. Uh, if you have anything, you can put it on the thread. If uh, it's cussing or putting down me or other people, hateful, vicious talk, then I will, uh, I guess, ask you not to put it down. But oh well. Uh, my main thing is, uh, these are just some of the headlines. It'll be rather fast This on this November 20th, on this Monday uh morning slash afternoon uh essentially uh, some of the headlines are the butcher of bosnia as he was known uh general mladic or whatever from uh serbia accused of ethnic cleansing in the hague that's wrapping up the trial for genocide for ethnic cleansing uh basically slaughtered a lot of people brought back concentration camps from what camps for what we know from what we know for the first time since hitler did it and brought that back in europe for the first time so hopefully they convict him he deserves it um, but they say it's very hard to prove. Uh, next, uh, well, you know you're going to hear about this. Uh, guards killed at border uh, between Mexico and the United States. A guard was killed. I'm not sure if the other one, the other one's injured. Uh, There's conflicting information last time I checked. Uh, apparently guns were not used, but maybe rocks. Uh, the Nebraska legislature, and yes, I'm an independent progressive, so if you're conservative, I know. Uh, you're probably not watching this anyways, but if you are, uh, I'm sad to say that the Nebraska legislature, it looks like, has given final approval for the Keystone Pipeline. Uh, also, the uh, monster that I view him as, uh, Manson, Charles Manson, has died. Uh, he's a great example. And uh, first of all, condolences to the family and loved ones of those he murdered. And he's an example of whether you're on the extreme left or extreme right, if you're just a nut job, and you go fanatically follow some evil monster like Manson uh, and, and go murder and kill people, you know, that kind of thing. So anyways, not sad to see him gone. Uh, BBC study in South Africa about coal or something. They had a story showing that the closer, surprise, surprise, you live to where they have like oil refineries and things and all that stuff, the more children that are uh, born died uh, in childbirth. So closer to you to oil plants. Next, we have another headline. And I am doing this from Phoenix, Arizona in the United States. Uh, you'll be stunned to hear another woman has come out and accused a... Uh, uh, Al Franken, Senator Al Franken, of groping her. I heard some of the report on a national public radio station, and I must say that she sounds very legit to me. Okay, you know, so, and whether you're a Republican or Democrat, I haven't decided yet, even though I'm leaning towards him stepping out of the Senate now. Uh, he is a gift to the Republicans, to you, our Republican friends, every day stays in, because then you can say you're going to lecture us, and while you're telling us, more should step down. Next, another stunner. We're just full of sexual allegations today. Bill Clinton is facing new accusations of sexual assault, apparently from four more women. Gee, I'm stunned about that. And yes, I do believe he did it. And I'm no fan of the Clintons. So for my conservative friends who think I'm an automatic limousine liberal, you think wrong, I'm an apostate with most of my progressive friends from the current corrupt Democrat Party. I was a Democrat, but then we all saw the light about how crooked they are now. Donna Brazil brought that out. And they're a bunch of crooks too. Running our country right along with your Republican leaders uh, our country and a Hunger Games style type of uh, system. Uh, okay, next. Uh, star New York reporter suspended after sexual harassment allegations. What do you know it? Star reporter for the New York Times. The same newspaper that told us that there were weapons of mass destruction. Believe it, we need to go into Iraq. Uh, next. Oh, stunner on this one. You'll be surprised and happy to know that Roy Moore, the man who is accused all these girls are coming out that were girls, uh, he's relying on the evangelical Christians in Alabama to, to get him elected. And, uh, you know, and we're being told by Conway, the president's advisor, scare tactics that, oh, we won't get taxes passed, tax reform if he's not in, which is not true because even if they do or don't pass the tax reform, this is going to happen before Roy Moore gets elected, if he gets elected. But I just think it's double standard. You know, I'm sorry, I was raised Southern Baptist. And I know many Christians who don't agree with that. If you're an evangelical Christian and you're saying this guy who's probably raped these little girls, if that's all right to get your money, that to me is violating one of the Ten Commandments. You're worshiping an idol. It's called money. Come on now. Other good Republicans, I mean, good Republicans, you know, they're saying he should step down. Okay, next, uh, our local KJAZ radio station is now running hit pieces on WikiLeaks with no counter opinion. Today they had a long section on how evil WikiLeaks has become with the evil Julian Assange that both the Democrat and Republican leaders hate. 
So there you go, your your donations at work. And though I will say, KJAZZ, you do good sometimes, KJAZZ.org and public radio. This is another reason why people don't trust you. You don't play a counter opinion. You just play a hit piece on WikiLeaks saying, oh, they're with Putin. Because we are in this era, and it's I'm ashamed to say uh, uh, Democrats to the point of McCarthyism from the 1950s. Okay, next, House Minority Whip Democrat Steny Hoyer. The man who backed the Iraq illegal Iraq occupation, which I was against, and I did serve in Iraq. I was the first soldier busted in Iraq for having a blog. And I got an honorable discharge, and I still stand by uh, my opinion. Um, they said I wasn't busted for that. They said I was busted for giving out secrets, which was a bunch of BS, because there were right-wing soldiers, bloggers, who were giving out a hell of a lot more than me. But at the time, I was running for the Senate, and... You know, our good friend, illegitimate president, who was a, was a illegitimately appointed president, judicial coup, I'm sad to say, uh, didn't like what I had to say. And so anyways, I got my uh, honorable discharge. I served my time in Iraq. So anyway, Steny Hoyer, Democrats going out to the, the different di Democratic districts. We got to get the Democrats to support us if we get the majority back in Congress. Well, you know what? I hate to wake you Democrats up who back fracking. Uh, who uh, stand up for this horrible mine at uh, Oak Flat, Arizona, this foreign mining corporation. You keep and you back Hillary Clinton, even though Donna Brazil has come out and said the primaries were elected or were rigged. I hate to tell you this, but you guys are living in fantasy land. You're in 1989 pre-Berlin Wall mentality. So, hey, that's up to you. You think you can uh, get elected without the 10 to 20 percent of us progressives and independents? Okay. Have fun with that. Okay, next. Um... Oh, you'll be happy to know that the local police here in Phoenix, Arizona are using facial technology. And I'm sure you're stunned. Uh, a would-be criminal uh, apparently left some selfies. And the police, because uh, this is not uh, confidential, uh, it came out. I've seen the hearings. This is not confidential or privileged public hearings. It is said by one of the uh, Phoenix officials that most of the homeland security positions in Arizona are manned by Phoenix police. So the Phoenix police got the selfies left over by a criminal, this is in the Arizona Republic today, and sent them over to Governor Ducey, uh, Mayor Stanton, a fake Democrat to uh, right-wing extremist Koch brothers Ducey, his police, and lo and behold, they say they've got a person they think is the one that is the selfies. So just so you know, stunned to hear, I know, they are using facial technology, recognition technology, and they're also using drones, Phoenix police, but here's how they get around it. Since they're manning the... Uh, Home, the homeland security positions, they just say, oh, it's the federal government using the drones. It's not Phoenix police. So, yes, you are being watched. I'm being watched for having the audacity as a citizen to go there and, and you know, see, tell the truth. OK, so, so anyways, that's what's going on. Uh, this day in history, Mexican Revolution began by this fellow named he was one of the people, uh, Emiliano uh, Zapata, uh, Liberty and Land. And NAFTA, they said it was going to be, you know, a ripoff to the United States and the Mexico would profit. No, of course, they knew that wasn't going to happen. Most of the Mexican farmers, their uh, subsidies, uh, all the stuff on their, their grains dropped out. The floor, the bottom dropped out on the prices of their grains that they sold. And they had to come to the Great White North to work in these maculadores, these sweat shop factories. So that's what happened. And plus, they don't like our corn, but now they are importers of American corn. Uh, so... Anyways, just some parallels to what's going on today. The farmers are not happy in Mexico either. Uh, on this day, Robert Kennedy was born. And yes, I still like him. I like the Kennedy family. They're not saints. I know that, my Republican friends. But also know that I can't stand LBJ, which is why I'm an apostate in the Democrat Party. Because LBJ, along with Nixon, Hoover, and the rest of them, were part of that whole fake charade. We actually had a coup d'etat. But they did it, they, they did it cleverly. Uh, in the eyes of the public, it was just Oswald, and if you believe that, I got, again, they got land for you to buy in the Sunni Triangle in the middle of the Florida Everglades. Let's see what else we have left here. Oh, uh, Nazi officials in this day in history went on trial for being good Germans for just following orders. They began the Nuremberg War Crimes Trial. So that's a lesson for all of us, including myself, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, if you blindly follow orders and violate laws against humanity, that's a bunch of BS. Don't do it. And that's why I like Snowden. I know a lot of you guys don't. Um, next. Um, oh, today was the premiere of Rocky. And I love Rocky, but I'm saddened to say I'm bringing that up, the premiere in 1976 of Rocky, because Sylvester Stallone has been accused, allegedly, of helping to sexually assault or rape a young girl who was getting his autograph with his bodyguard. That's alleged. But um, I just got to tell you my own opinion. I was looking at it, and it looks pretty legit to me. 
But, you know, I know it's easy to ruin somebody's reputation, but still, this does not look like it. And if you think it's easy to come out against a star and you're just a lo little plain person, you think you're going to get money right off the bat? No, you're not. And people will attack you because I love Sylvester Stallone, what he did, but it takes guts because you know people aren't going to be happy to hear that. Next, in 2007... Uh, scientists in Japan and the U.S. reported making embryonic stem cells so we can all march towards that futuristic path where machines, everything will be running us and we will be just like those big fat dumb turkeys in the slaughterhouses as opposed to the wild turkeys that Benjamin Franklin wanted to make as our uh, national bird because they're very smart and uh, uncannily uh, able to get away from hunters a lot. Uh, and then finally, in 1985, uh, Microsoft unveiled its first version of Microsoft Windows. So that's kind of pretty much what's going on here. Um, I just wanted you to see what I see from my neck of the woods. That's a political report. Just some news that I see as one person. My name's Leonard Clark, um, and I hope you will let me know about anything going on in your part of the world. Message me if you have any news tips. I will try to share your stuff, whether you're Republican or conservative. You know, I will do my best to work with you. But if it's just about threatening to kill me or threatening other people, kill, 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 kill. No, that's like our Democrat friends who are like, Russia, Russia, Russia. Okay, it's November 20th of the year 2017. I'm doing this. I've just done this video from the southwestern United States. It is early uh, afternoon, late morning here in Phoenix, Arizona. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.